welcome back. A new play from Northern Stage in White River Junction follows the family histories of four generations of black women. It's called Above Water and Celeste Jennings is the playwright and costume designer. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. So tell me a little bit about your play. What is the story about? Buff Water is hard to um, explain in one sentence because it's basically about uh, memories that are both intentionally and um, accidentally forgotten throughout time. So it kind of spans four generations that starts in the 1870s and ends in like 2009, 2010. Um, and it's all these bits and pieces of stories that you don't necessarily get the, the whole, you know, story about or context <laughs> throughout. And what was the inspiration for it? Yeah, um, I started writing this play um, when I was still in undergrad. I definitely grew up like always like trying to like listen to the old folk when they were talking or like pass my bedtime, like stay up late and try to see what they were, what, you know, what was so funny that the adults were laughing about in the other room. And I, um, when I got into writing, thought it'd be really exciting to try to dramatize some of these like really riveting tales that I've heard from my um, elder relatives. And in writing it and not having all the information, I realized that it's really not about, the pursuit has nothing to do with me trying to um, get all of this information and, you know, bother my um, older relatives by figuring out what it is. It more was about me being thankful for what we do have with this kind of forgotten history, um, being descendants of uh, enslaved folks in this country. And I, in writing it, have become so proud of all the holes that we have in our lineage because I think they represent revolutions and acts of rebellion that are just unrecorded in, um, in history. And what was then it like to write the pre play and bring that to life on the stage? It's been a really, interesting journey, mostly because of the pandemic. Um, I'm so happy to have a piece commissioned by Northern Stage. It is always a pleasure to work with them. Um, given the pandemic that we're all living in, I wasn't able to have actors in a room and actually hear the play out loud until we started rehearsals and um, at the beginning of the year. Prior to that, everything we did was Zoom. So <laughs> the first couple of weeks were very, very intense as we just made so many discoveries and a lot a change throughout just trying to figure out this huge Oreo landscape of the play and all of these fragmented scenes that happen. And was there something you wanted the audience who goes and listens to that play to take away from it? Yeah, I think my only hope really is that the audience can feel welcome, that they can like not be uh, thrown off by the kind of like fast and um, not so f like fleshed out na nature of the play. And in having all of these like um, cut off stories, uh, I guess I'm just hoping that they can relate it back to maybe some of the parts of their own family history that they don't know the whole story about and also feel proud, just as proud as I do about what I don't know for my own family history. And lastly, where and when can people see it? People can see it right now at Northern Stage. Um, you can get tickets on their website. You can just Google above water. And we will have information on our website with this story for anyone who might be interested. Celeste, thank you for your time today and congratulations. Thank you so much.